Joy News, Joy T. You have all my audio and videos on that. I think a day after uh, the tools were scrapped off, I, I came out first to condemn it, and I stated emphatically that within a year or two, we will come and then um, we will bring the tool back. I was very specific that within a matter of less than two years, this mm -hmm. tool will be back. And so I'm not surprised that uh, it's been back. Uh, if you check my Facebook handle, if you check my Twitter handle, if you check your news items on Joy, you have it there. It was, it was absolutely wrong to have scrapped it off in the first place. Whether we have e levy or not, the tool system must remain. So I'm not surprised at all that we are back to where we are, um, where we, we left off. So uh, the decisions that are taken in the haste must be reconsidered. In the next time we we are about to take a decision, extensive dialogue has to be engaged. I mean, you have to engage the stakeholders who are into the field, do a lot of analysis, get them to buy into your idea before you bring a surprise to the citizen. This is this is out of out of. I mean, it's it's not non negotiable uh, bringing the tool back. I have stated even in those suggestions I made that um, a couple of samples were taken after the tool was suspended, and I can say that a hundred or so percent, if not ninety nine. The motorists that were interviewed after the police were a bit surprised. On the contrary, they were thinking that we were going to have an increment. It was amazing that uh, that decision was taken by a caucus of uh, maybe some members of government who came in with this idea of capitalism. So uh, that's my initial submission. We cannot do without the tool. We cannot do without it. And I have emphatically stated which was just uh, argumented by the deputy minister yesterday in your studio that we are the least who in the world, not in the sub saharan Africa, in the world, our neighbors, Burkina Faso to the north, Cote d'Ivoire to our east, uh, to the west, sorry, and then um, our east side, I want to jump Togo and Benin and go to Nigeria. These three countries, I mean, I want to have one interesting country among the, the, uh, the companies that make it. They are charging an average of five Ghana cities for a saloon car. And you were doing 90% less, which was 50 petrol.